Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a Hellcat Red Eye Charger Jailbreak. I'm not sure if I even said those in the proper order, but you guys know what this car is all about. Before we get into this video, I'm going to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Carl Malone Dodge Ram here in Heber City, Utah, for giving me some time with this charger. This particular charger is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can reach out to them. If you have any questions, just ask for Josh. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are a whopping 807 horsepower and then 707 pound feet of torque. That's just one less horsepower than a Dodge Demon on pump gas. Oh, and all I gotta say is RIP Red Eye. It's so cool to see that on the supercharger. Now, before we go over the front end, I do wanna mention, if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood itself, I love the hood scoop and the venting. I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. And with the blue stripes, it gives it a really sporty appearance. Popping down below, we got the C-shaped daytime running lights. And then you guys can see we've got the blacked out Hellcat badge down the grill. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but the stripes continue all the way to the bottom here. And just look at how everything's super open because you need a lot of airflow for this V8. Putting it all together, this is definitely not a sleeper. I mean, when you see the front end of this thing with the stripes and everything, like, you know this is a crazy car. Now, coming around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 305, 35, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And I'm actually a big fan of the design and the coloration on these wheels. I think it has kind of more of like a retro appearance. I think it looks really good overall. And look at how the brake calipers have been painted blue to match the stripes. I think that's another cool touch on this particular one. And then obviously Brembo brakes with this because you need a lot of stopping power. Now I've got the wide body package here. We've got our Hellcat red eye badge there on the side. And then we actually have a jailbreak red eye decal here on the back. And putting it all together, this is such a cool looking car. I mean, look at what the wide body and everything. I know it's out there with the colors and everything, but still it's cool. Now here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function. We've got this to open up the trunk and then our remote start function. And then we have our SRT Hellcat logo here on the back and we'll pop the trunk open. Now popping into the trunk, you guys can see that being a Charger, it's actually quite spacious here in the back. And so although this is a crazy performance car, it's also a practical car as well. And then closing the trunk, you just gotta kind of reach up here and then plop. Now I've got the blacked out spoiler here in the back and then you guys can see here with the racing stripes are also on the roof and they even go into the license plate area here as well. We've got the Charger's signature light bar here on the back end and then you guys can see SRT Hellcat badge here on the rear got some more venting there on the side and then I think you guys will like the sound of the exhaust but you got those aggressive ovals now, before we move on to the next feature, we need to talk about today's video sponsor, Morgan and Morgan. Now, believe it or not, the modern world is actually a pretty treacherous place. Every single time you go out for a drive, there's a chance that you could get into an accident. You could be walking in front of a business. They could have something on the ground and you could slip and fall and hurt yourself. And on top of that, you could just be doing your job, right? Like you always do. And something could happen and you could sustain a major injury. This is a topic that's very important to me personally, because I drive about four thousand miles per year for the channel and so there are a lot of situations that I'm put in on a day-to-day -day basis where accidents almost happen now knock on wood nothing's happened for years but there's always the chance that something could happen and well this is where Morgan and Morgan comes in they are America's largest law firm with over 100 offices over 800 lawyers and over 4,000 case staff that are all ready to help you out and one of the best parts about working with Morgan and Morgan is that things like the negotiations, the court hearings, and the research associated with putting together a case are all free unless you win. And so if you're involved in some kind of personal accident, whether it be a car accident, a slip and fall accident, or an accident at the workplace, then you might want to get help from Morgan & Morgan. And on a little bit of a side note, don't feel bad about hiring an attorney. Remember that you're suing the insurance company that is worth billions upon billions of dollars they can more than pay for the compensation that you deserve. So if you are injured in an accident, then you can check out Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or you can give them a call at pound 529, that is pound law. Again, www.forthepeople.com slash Ben Hardy, or 
pound law and it looks like the uh, chickens rustling in the back they agree go with morgan and morgan now taking a look at the door panel here you actually have stitching at the top and then you can see all the trim down below so it actually kind of has more of like a luxury car appearance with the interior and that continues on to these leather seats and they definitely have a distinctive smell the hellcat seats i love the smell of them i know it's a weird thing to mention but something to mention the two-tone is also cool now, although the Charger's a big car, it's actually kind of cramped here in the rear. But anyways, got a little storage pocket. We got some vents. We got some heated seats. We got some USB action. And uh, headroom back here is also good. Now, here's the front door panel. It's just like the rear with the trim and the stitching. We've got all of our window controls. Front two are actually automatic. You got your mirror adjustments. We also have memory seats. We've got blind spot monitoring for the mirrors on top of that. And then here's the front seat. We've got our SRT Hellcat badge there, perforated all down the center with the leather. You've got your power adjustments here. And then we've got the pedals, which I think those look pretty cool. Light controls. And then we've got the steering wheel adjustment, which is power. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel. You guys can see it's fully wrapped in Alcantara, I guess except for the bottom right there. Anyways, paddle shifters here for the eight-speed automatic. Got radio controls below those. Cruise control, we've got controls here for the center stack, voice command, phone controls as well. Now here's the center gauge cost. You guys can see the red, which looks so cool, and the speedo. 220 miles an hour now apparently the top speed that this car has been to is 48 miles an hour this car has 8,000 miles i think it's been reset that's all i'm gonna say i'm just gonna put that out there but anyways you got the gauge cluster which i think looks pretty cool and then here's the backup camera it does have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel now as for the rest of the infotainment system this is dodge's infotainment system they've had for quite some time response time's good you guys can see we've got heated and ventilated seats here for the front we also have heated steering wheel for the driver but the cool thing is obviously the srt dashboard so this is i guess your control center for the fun stuff so you got all the different drive modes here and yes we do have the red keys we've got all 807 horsepower today um, but notice you also have your performance pages which always take a century to load up and then you can see the performance information here all i'm going to say is Quarter mile speed, 120 miles an hour, 12.9. <laughs> yeah, it's a fast car. Um, but anyways, you can see like real time horsepower and torque. You can see the torque's just kind of ticking there, which is also cool. But going back to the SRT dashboard, it's also where you have a race option. So you got your line lock, which which help you do a burnout. You have your launch control. You have the chiller to cool everything off where it'll basically no longer do AC to the cabin. It'll do it to the engine. If it's overheating, get your shift light and everything. So it's, it's cool all the stuff that you have in here. And you know, we won't be able to use everything in today's video, but we'll use a few items. And then also to mention the trim around is pretty cool looking. It has like a 3D effect. Anyways, we've got analog controls for the radio just down below. Dual zone climate controls. Got our shifter for the 8-speed automatic. 12 volt right there. Dodge Brothers right here. And then cup holder action. Center console, pretty normal. And then it says jailbreak here on the dash, which I think is pretty cool. And then pretty normal glove box. Nothing too crazy happening there. But also notice there's nice like stitching and padding on the dash. And then up top, you guys can see we've got a nice headliner here and we've got a center as well. So lots of nice touch points in this car. Now I don't have the original window sticker for this car, but these are going for around $100,000 to $110,000, I think. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, but I think that's what these are going for right now. Anyways, let's drive it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, I gotta make the joke, anchors up! <laughs> if you guys uh, watch the YouTube shorts, then you'll probably, well, actually, I'll probably post this before I post a short, so uh, stay tuned for that. Once you guys see the short, you'll you'll understand. Um, one thing I do wanna mention is, uh, I hate this driveway, <laughs> it's so sloped. Um, but anyways, this car is actually really comfortable. Uh, the seats are super comfortable. You've got really nice uh, leather seats in this. And you know, overall, like even though the back seats are like, for how big this car is, they're a little bit more on the cramped side, overall space in this is really good. So I just realized I should have gone out the back way, which I was doing last week, but I forgot somehow today, I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, talk about how this drives. So initially just here in, uh, let's see, normal mode, I think. Just chilling here in, yeah, normal mode, auto mode rather, which is normal mode. I mean, you hear the supercharger whine, but outside of that, it's honestly like, it's a luxury car. Seriously, I know that sounds crazy, but the suspension's very comfortable. The seats are very comfortable. 
and it's actually pretty quiet again you get you get a bit of supercharger wine which i don't think is a bad thing it sounds great and it's just it's just smooth transmission's really smooth and responsive and so it just does all of this stuff that like again lends to the like luxury car feel it's so comfortable having the ventilated seat's kind of nice because it's getting it's getting warmer here but yeah i mean you you could so i mean that's probably why it says eight thousand miles on it is you could easily daily drive this okay so getting up and moving again i think that this might end up being my favorite hellcat and i'm saying this as someone who owned a ram t-rex for a couple of years i love the i love the utility of the pickup truck and everything but this is just more of what i would call an enthusiast car because obviously lower to the ground but it's also just like it's such a ridiculous thing this is a four-door car with rear wheel drive and over 800 horsepower. Like, why does this exist? But the fact that it exists, I think is so cool. I see, it's, it, the thing is just, I know, I've, I know I've spent a lot of time on this, don't worry, we'll get some accelerations in a little bit, but like, I just find it fascinating that this is as like daily drivable as it is. Because like, we live in a world where you can literally buy an 800 horsepower car with a factory warranty that has, ventilated heated and ventilated seats and dual zone climb and all this other stuff and drives frankly uh, just so well it's just crazy to me there's no one behind me this is a little bit of a faster area so i can kind of get up to speed here with the hellcat <laughs> goodness wow <laughs> my goodness um actually i'll move this to the other side so you guys can see a little bit better but Oh my gosh. Yeah, that like, um, what is what is traction? What is traction? I mean, yeah, I just, I just, uh, you know, put my foot down a little bit and yeah, next thing you know, it's just uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing happening. We got this, we got this uh, turn up here that we'll go, but we'll, we're uh, slow down here again, just to kind of. <laughs> oh my gosh. This car is so stupid. Oh my gosh, you 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 only get into it for like a second before you're just going a little bit too fast. But wow, and the thing that's crazy to me is, um, I drove my my Mustang up here. It's a GT350, so it's like you know one of the best handling Mustangs ever. I'm surprised at how well this thing handles. Like, it you do feel the weight. Like it is it is a you know it is a big heavy beast. But it's actually. It's, it's actually crazy like how well it handles for how big it is. Okay, well, now that we are back from our trip from Mexico, this is actually a higher speed road here, so we can kind of... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the sounds too. Um, yeah. So to quickly cap things off here with the jailbreak, this is such a stupid car because like, again, four doors, 800 horsepower, rear wheel drive, makes no sense. But also, it's so cool that this this exists. And this one looks so crazy with the spec that it has. I'm glad that this car exists. I, I honestly don't know, like, I get like the, I guess you could just be like the coolest dad ever if you had this car. Because <laughs> I mean, the four doors and everything, the carry around kids and all that. But let me know what you guys think about this. But I think this is going to end up being like, it's already a classic at this point. But I do think that this is gonna be like a, what you call like maybe like a cult classic, right? Where there's just gonna be like this super, like there already is a big following, but like people are gonna be searching far and wide. And I'm sure that these things are gonna be going for crazy money down the road because uh, people are getting into the weird cars. And this is just, it's a weird car. Like I know that we're kind of used to it because Hellcats have been out for a while, but just remember, this is a four-door family sedan with 800 horsepower.